Hey, you guys. So some of you are asking our gear. So we thought we would just do what's on the outside of our bikes first. Um, so we're going to show you our bikes, our saddles, all that, and then just like the bags and the things that we have on the outside of the bike. So our bike bags that we bought are... These are Ortlieb waterproof bags. Let me get the... They're called Ortlieb. This is Annette's handlebar bag. Hers is a little bigger, as you can see, than mine. I got a smaller one because of the camera I'm trying to videotape. That big one gets in the way, so I got a smaller one. But they open up, and they have these magnets that keep them down. Um, so you just have whatever you want in those. But um, And we'll show you when we put those on. They just slide on real easy on the handlebars. So that's the handlebar bags. Um, this is our rear saddle bag. We've only got, we're not using the front bags, but this is the rear one. So these are, they just, they're totally, they have a main compartment, a big main compartment. There is a zip, like envelope side in there for you to keep stuff separate. And it has two uh, draw cords. There's this one, and then you could do this one to make right. it even smaller. There's this one to, you know, tighten up all the stuff in there, and then this one pulls it up around it so that you it makes it easier to get the lid over it. Yep. And then it has this little outside pocket mm -hmm. that you can put stuff that you need to access like during the day, like bug wipes and... Sunscreen or snacks or whatever. That kind of yeah. stuff. And then this one has a fold-over top. We yeah. like these. It allows you to get a little bit more stuff in there. So it um, folds over... You snap it. These are totally adjustable depending mm -hmm. on how much you have in there. Mm -hmm. And you tighten the these, sides you up. You loosen these straps and then tighten and get the flap to stay down. And a great thing about these, and we'll show you when we put them on, is they have this release handle thing. When I pull up on this, like Annette, pull up on that for a minute. Yeah. So when we go to put them on and she pulls up on this handle, it releases this clip. And when you lay it on the bar, it it comes back, it, yeah. it seals so it, it on there. It like that. So then your, your, your rack bar is there and when then you it comes it go, around, then you, it's, it, it comes around it. so it goes from being open yeah when so when you go to pull them off you just really lift it up and it comes right off and then it has this lower one that holds it in place down there too but they're real easy to get on so and off this just slips on the bottom triangle of the rack you slip this part over that as you're putting these on it goes on and off really easy yeah we'll show you we'll show you that in a little bit so i'm going to show you what's on the outside of our bikes and, and about our bikes. Our, we both have the Surly Disc Trucker bikes. Um, we have fenders. We, Brian put fenders on our bikes. Um, we have uh, the Ortlib bag where these are the Ortlib bike racks um, that we have. Now we have the, this bar and this bar and that way we can put our bags on this and then we put our big other big bag on top and it gives us a little bit more room there. I have a little, just a little bag here with some tools and an inner tube in there. Um, I have this, we both have mirror, a bell, a light in the back. We have a light on the on our camelbacks. Um, I'm using this, it's, a, it's called Tacform is the brand. It's a motorcycle mount camera mount and it, you can move it all different directions but I have it up here so I can video really solid I used a different one and it was so cheap it broke I used two of them and they broke this has been really good so and there's the brand of that tack form it says it's a motorcycle mountain bike uh, mount um, and then here's our um, handlebar bag here um, very easy to get on and off. So it so has this button your, here. When you're on your bike, it has these little magnetic things so that you can open in it, and it's real easy. Yeah, and, then and it, it really it stays up. closed. Yeah. Those are powerful stays magnets. It closed, and then you can hook it on there. Yep. Then to get it off, you can... Um, Just comes right off. Push the thing. And you can see this is the holder for it. Yeah. So when you put it back on, it's just as easy. You can also you can notice that it's a lock. Yep. You can snap it or you can touch the lock yep. down and put it on or you can snap it into place. But you yep. can turn that lock and then you can't take it off. Yeah. So those have been great. Um, and then we're going to show you just how we put on the back bag real quick. Um, yeah, so the back bag, like Christy was saying, you have this, this second level. 
So then this is your bottom stabilizer, and that goes on this little triangle piece here. And so she's holding it by the handle so because you, it opens these up. Yeah, when you pick, when you pull the handle, so if you pull the handle, it opens this space. Yeah. When you let it go, it that's closes. then closed. So yeah. that, so opens it up. So when you pick it up, it opens it. You just walk up to your bike. And you, it's the bottom of the bag here that she's going to okay. hook down here. And you just totally just, it's like, one fluid movement really and yeah. then it's on so you can like lift it up and check it but it's latched on there yeah so this so we have each have two of those bags and then we each have one of these bags that has our tent in it our tennis shoes just some camping stuff and it goes on the rack like this and we have bungee cords that holds hold that on so we have the two saddlebags and that bag with our gear and then the handlebar bag so that's what we are using and our our bags are not that heavy i would say we're about 25 27 pounds because we got rid of some stuff we started at around 30 but i think we're down probably 25 pounds it's like our backpacking stuff you have a few extra things i'll show you when we go through our gear but um really we're taking what we took backpacking mostly so our saddles i went with the terry Butterfly Sentry uh, saddle. really like it a lot. Annette is using the Cell Italia. Italia, and she really likes it. So that's kind of uh, what she's using. This is her phone mount, because she's looking at it this way, has it, has it sitting and looking at it as we're um, going down the road. We have our bo bottles there. Like we said, we have the the bottles on our bike and we use our little camelback because we drink a lot of water we like to have a lot of water with us um, and then we have a light on our camelback uh, pack too so we have a couple of lights that's on us when we're on the road so we both are using just this kind of camelback sleeve I'm using that one and that's a little bit bigger I think and this is a nets it has a little bit more of a pocket on it so we're using these Debrim, here's the way you spell it, sun visors that you attach to your helmet. We ordered it online, we just googled Debrim and ordered it online. Um, we really have liked those. Um, if, you're, like, if you're in a hot area, like in Tucson, like, like Ben's bike shop that we stopped at, they had them in stock yeah. at Debrim. So. Some of the sunny places have them in their bike shops. But they work well for it. We, what we found out is they really work well for the rain too, because the rain is keeps the rain off your face, off your glasses. And um, the only problem is in, if it's really windy, you, you have to take it off because it's just your head's just kind of like. Oh. Um, but so far, we really like those. So this is the headlamp. It's not the headlamp, but the bike lamp that goes on the front of our bike, and we have it where it just slides in. You see this little thing here. This little holder here, and it, we put it off to the side so you so have the your bag. hand position. Yeah, and um, it just slides on, and then you can so you, and you can tilt it, tilt it up there. So that's another piece. Okay. Another safety thing is this triangle that has a little strap and hangs on the back of the bags here, so that you're better seen when you're out there. Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you what's in my bags, my gear I brought. I'm not that good at doing these videos for some reason, but I'll just show you. And Annette and I have about the same stuff, so I'll just show you what I'm bringing. First of all, I have half of the tent. Annette and I share the tent. We have the MSR Hubba Hubba. We love it. I bring a little, we both bring a little sits pad. That if we stop somewhere and it's wet or it's raining or it's just want to be more comfortable, we sit on that. I have my um, Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm uh, sleeping pad and a sleeping bag liner. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I might. When it gets warmer, I might not use the bag and just use that. But I have a sleeping liner and my quilt. I've had this forever. It's a Thermarest quilt. Um, I have a food bag that I just like backpack, and all this stuff I've taken backpacking just to carry my food in. Um, we have a little 
stove um, that we took backpacking. So carry a um, little Snow Peak Giga stove, and we have a little fuel canister with it. So carry that. I carry um, a towel uh, with me, a little camp towel, and I carry the uh, Sawyer Squeeze filter and, and the Seanock bag. So all that backpacking. Um, I, I'm bringing my Sea to Summit Nano Cell Poncho, and that brings hers too. We cover the bikes with them, but you know you can cover your equipment with them, and you know we don't ride with them, but um, they're helpful to just kind of keep stuff dry at camp. Have my cup. Um, I have a first aid kit. Um, I bring a toiletry bag that has, you know, on this one I have some shampoo and soap and stuff because we take showers at campgrounds and stuff like that. But, you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. Basic. I have um, a bag with my very first time where I'm carrying some medications and um, some uh, supplements and stuff like that that I'm bringing with me. This little bag, uh, these little bags are uh, Cindy Payne, um, the, the woman that made the water bottle, bottle holder, made these little bags. I love them. But they, um, this is all my charging stuff. So I have an anchor, plugs, my earphones, all of that, all my electronic stuff go in that little bag. Um, we always bring a Kindle. Uh, and then in my little side pockets of my bags, I'll have like, I have a bug net. I haven't used it yet, but I'll have my headlamp. I have a bandana. I have sunscreen. Um, this little bag, I have the, our bags, our saddle bags and our handlebar bags have uh, straps, shoulder straps. That, so if you want to carry them around, you, you can use it. So I just put all of them in this little bag and carried it with. Have some sunscreen. We have a, a big bike lock that I um, that we both share. It's a big one. As far as clothing, I have a t-shirt and this hooded Patagonia shirt that I love that I sleep in. It's really the clothes I have. I have some. Um, where are they? I brought zip-off pants to wear when I'm not. That way I have shorts and pants. Um, I brought a pair of, you know, just socks, like hiking socks. Um, that's just kind of around camp. I did bring a pair of long underwear. I have not had to wear them at all, but I do have a pair of long underwear to sleep in. I'll probably get rid of those, but I don't know. It doesn't take up that much weight or that much room. I have a, I have a wind jacket, real light wind jacket. Um, this one I got at REI years ago. Uh, I don't even know what the brand is on it. It's a cool, but it's a, it's a really nice, just a lightweight wind jacket. I brought my puffy, Patagonia down sweater puffy. Um, and then as far as stuff I ride in, I have, um, I have a pair of these REI expedition shorts. I'll show you these, um, with the pads. But we like those because they have these side pockets. On both sides, they have pockets. So Annette and I both got these Expedition REI Pearl Izumi. Actually, we got them from REI, but they're Pearl Izumi Expedition shorts. We have two pairs of those. I have a, a long sleeve jersey that I got from my friend Tori, who owns the Buffalo Bicycle Lodge in uh, Colorado Springs. And um, that's come in handy because it's been cold. And then I have... Um, I have a short sleeve jersey that I bring, that I wear sometimes. I have the my little short sleeve jersey. And I have these sun sleeves. So if you feel like you're getting too much sun, I have these kind of like arm warmers, but they're actually sleeves. So sometimes I wear those if I wear this uh, and I feel like I'm getting too much sun. Uh, I brought, you know, like a couple pairs of cycling socks. Um, I brought a swimsuit just in case I want to swim. And I have this uh, Walls cap supporting Ukraine. The proceeds went to the World Kitchen. I have a pair of sunglasses. I had to buy these. I lost my sunglasses already. I don't buy expensive ones anymore because I lose them all the time. But these cost 15 bucks at the little store in Vantage, Washington. 
I like them. And then I wear some gloves, some little biking gloves. These are Pearl Azumis. I've had them forever. Um, these, I wear these Pearl Azumi. Are these Pearl Azumis? I wear these Pearl Azumi shoes. Filthy dirty. But you, we have the cleats. Um, I, I use this uh, Pearl Azumi rain jacket that I, I probably have had this for 15 years at least. More, probably. Really nice jacket. Um, it has a hood that you can attach to it. It has, kind of has this tail to it. It's a great cycling jacket. It's really bright, so you're able to be seen. So I use that. And then I got these rain pants from REI, and they're called um, Showers Pass. And uh, I really like them. They have, a, they, they have a zip here, but they have these straps that you can make them real um, skinny at the bottom so they don't get caught in your chain and stuff like that. So I really like these two. These have worked really well. Um, and Annette has some wind pants and rain pants, and she has a, a, a kind of a pullover rain jacket um, that she uses, but we both kind of are using about the same kind of stuff. I also bring my Hoka shoes just to wear around when I'm not cycling so I can hike. Okay. okay, so Annette's going to show you. So the only, I mean, the only thing I do really different, really, is I wear a hiking shirt for my cycling shirt. And sometimes when it's been really cool, I wear this little uh, singlet technical undershirt thing underneath it. Because um, we've had some quite cool weather. But wearing that hiking <laughs> shirt, I like because I still have my pocket so I can put my sunglasses in there when I need to or my chapstick or whatever and I know right where it is. Gives me great sun coverage. I can button up the neck like you know who mm -hmm. if I want to or um, have it open and get good ventilation. That way. So I really like that. And then my cycling shoes are um, they're SPD shoes too. So the um, the kind of cleat that we have. I show the bottom of it. It's the kind of cleat. Another filthy. That's why I have them in this bag. Um, this uh, XC3, this is a Shimano shoe made by Shimano XC3, is their designated wide foot shoe. And it is wide enough for me. I, I don't wear my toe spacers when I'm in, in it. So it, without my toe spacers, it's a wide enough shoe for me. Um, Annette had a hard time finding the wide shoe. Yeah, I, yeah, my, yeah. So, but it works. It's so it, working. it's working. So that's great. So that's what that is. So the other part is just what we carry with us. That's not part of what we would carry on our backpack trip, obviously, or just tools yeah. and stuff for the bike. So I Annette's been talking some, about uh, that. So I we just, have this little, this little tool well, just wrap. Just a little roll up tool wrap. And I just have like a, I have some zip ties, which always come in handy. This little tool is for your um, disc brake thing. And then I have a pair of needle nose pliers and a pair of pliers and um, a little set of, um, oh, those are my extra cleats because my cleats are already pretty old, so I thought they might they might wear out. And we have trip. a chain tool in there somewhere. Um, I don't know where that's No, on. that's on your thing. Oh. I, I got rid of mine. Oh. And then um, just like a, a 15 mil wrench for the pedals. And that's about it. And then this is a multi-tool here. I'll let you talk about that. Yes, yeah, so and then we just have a little multi-tool that has uh, the most uh, used Allen keys on it. Um, and it also has a chain breaker tool and um, a flat tip and a Phillips screwdriver. And then we have some little single Allen head wrenches too. So we have... Yeah, probably have, more than we need, but you know, we have those, and then we have, um, you know, our patch kit, patch kits, patch kits, and uh, extra tubes. I think we're carrying yep. extra tubes. I have two, you have one, we have three extra tubes, so um, yeah, and then we have um, a pump, yeah, we have our little um, frame, you know, our little tiny Your little pump. Oh, we, we each we have two. Actually. Yeah, we used to, we have to, which isn't a bad thing because if one failed, you would definitely want one. So that's it. Pretty basic stuff. If if something really happened, you'd have to limp along or 
yeah. get help or I don't know, you know? Yeah, we've been doing fine and we feel like we have what we need. As far as food, somebody asked about our food. It's about the same as backpacking, except we don't have to carry as much because we're in towns a lot. We, yeah, you know, so we'll have dried fruit and nuts and... Yeah, you're able to eat... Um, propel. Yeah, we carry our propel. And you're able to uh, get, get a salad or whatever. You know, you feel like you can get a little bit more fresh fruit. Or sometimes when you stop in the little stores, um, they'll have a little bit of fruit. Or certainly when you're in a bigger place, you can get an, you know, an apple, an orange, and a banana. Yeah, so we do... We, you don't have to carry as much. We do carry a couple of dinners, a couple of breakfasts. Um, we do that Carnation Instant Breakfast drink. We have our, you know, our tea. Um, we have that kind of stuff. And we haven't had to do too, because we're in town so much, but we have a couple times camped and made our dinner and had breakfast bar for breakfast. And then at some point during the day, you run through some kind of town. But Yeah, and um, then just our stove and our fuel. and Yeah. So that's it, you guys. I hope that answers all your questions. Um, basic stuff. Nothing fancy here. All right. Okay. Later. You could do it too. Yeah. All right.